Yeah, I'm trying to find it myself. Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking for. I'm assuming it's in this general vicinity, but I don't know. So today is the Memorial Union Rededication Ceremony, and the main purpose for it is to rededicate the Memorial Union so that all the students, faculty, staff, and alumni can remember what this sacred building is all about, and that's for veterans and for um, all the sacrifices the service members take. Just have a little gift. Oh, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you can put that next to uh, your new stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the beaver. <laughs> oh, I, I got nothing against the beaver. <laughs> Another standing <laughs> ovation. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Malarkey's experiences help us gain an appreciation for the sacrifices a service member makes every day. Now let us pay our respect for those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. We would like to mention these past OSU students. Please take a moment of silence as we read aloud the names of these heroes. Specialist Brennan C. Gibson, United States Army. Specialist Nathan W. McKiss, United States Army. Sergeant Sean Patrick Fennerty, United States Army. Second Lieutenant Frederick E. Picorni Jr., United States Marine Corps. Major Gregory Stone, Idaho National Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Max Gouliai. United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Jeffrey Jeffrey A. Amon, United States Navy. After each sentence, would you please respond by, we dedicate this building. To the service and inspiration of the living. To the unity and fellowship of all students and all campus interests. To the more alert and efficient management of student body activities. To the honor of all the Oregon State men and women who enlisted to serve their country, many of whom performed valiant exploits of leadership and heroism. We dedicate this building to the Rock of the Marne and all others of the faculty who won conspicuous honors. We dedicate this building to the most distinguished soldier of the state of Washington, holder of the Congressional Medal of Honor, to the most distinguished soldier of the state of Oregon, her representative in the Living Hall of Fame, and to all other alumni who won honor for their country and their college. To the thousands of undergraduates whose sacrificial deeds upon the field of battle have sanctified to us forever some of the most significant engagements of war. To the unknown soldier. To the prisoners of war. To those missing in action. To all, in fact, who served under the colors of their country, men and women, in whatsoever place and whatsoever capacity. We dedicate this building to the memory of our immortal dead, all men and women who, in the bloom of their youth and strength, paid the last full measure of devotion in the service of their country. We dedicate this building to that intangible but inspiring tradition, the Beaver Spirit, a heritage from the deeds and dreams of yesterday, a reality with the students of today, and the assurance of a magnificent tomorrow. We dedicate this building. Eighty years ago, this building was dedicated to the memory and honor of those who served their country. While much has changed since that time, the commitment and pride that was shown has not. Every day, men and women proudly give back to their country to preserve our freedom and the things we take for granted. This building will always serve to the memory of those who paid the last full measure of devotion. Thank you all for attending. If you please all make your way outside to the concourse, we will unveil a new addition to the memorial so you can find everything that we have spoken about today. We also have carnations available to be placed alongside the plaque in memory of loved ones who have passed. Afterwards, please come back and join us for coffee and cake. Again, thank you all for attending. <laughs>